Today we're replacing rotted deck boards on the front porch of our historic home. You can see how these will usually rot, particularly right on your edge of your front steps, you know, where they're exposed. These boards are tongue and grooved, you know, on both sides, so they interlock together, and they're usually nailed through the tongue, and the trick is to be able to get a board out of the middle of the porch without tearing up and wrecking the rest of the ones next to it. This board right here that we're going to replace because the end's rotted, it's actually a very long board that runs all the way up to the front of the porch. And we're not going to replace the whole thing, we're going to splice it. And what we want to do is we want to try and splice it right on top of where one of the beams is, you know, underneath the board. Now, we don't want to splice every board, you know, the same length, because then we'd have a little bit of a structural, you know, uh, strength lapse. But we'll splice every other one. As you see, we've actually replaced several of these over the years. And so we skip every other one where we splice on top of, you know, the underlaying beam. And then on the next row, we come back to the next beam and we splice every other one on the next beam. So this being one of the original ones, it goes up and we've already spliced the ones on either side of it. So we'll take it on up to the next beam at about four foot and we'll go and cut it right through here. If you're not sure where one of the beams is underneath your deck, one of the things to look for is where the end butts are. They might line up on a beam that's underneath them. And at that point, if you're not 100% sure, you can go ahead and take a screw. Go ahead and take a screw and go ahead and screw down where you think the beam is. And if it's really tight, you know you've hit the beam. And if it's really loose and just shoots right through, then you know you've probably missed it. Hey, we'll be back in a little over 60 seconds. And we're going to pause real quick to see if you need any eternal repair. You might say, eternal repair? What's that? Well, hey, consider your whole life, and all your life, have you ever told a lie before? I have, and I'm sure you have too. We all have. Also consider, have you ever stolen something, even no matter how small it was? I'm sure you have, and I have too. The whole point of where I'm going with this is those two rules, lying and stealing, those are two of the Ten Commandments in the Bible, for which define what sin is. So if you've broken even one of those rules, no matter how small it was, that means you've sinned, and we all have. The punishment for sin is going to hell or eternal separation from God. The good news is Jesus Christ came to this earth. He didn't lie, he didn't steal, he didn't do all these crazy stuff that you and I've done. He was totally without sin. He was sacrificed on the cross for my personal sin and yours. He went to the grave. Three days later, he defeated death, and now he sits beside the Father in heaven. The whole point of why he had to take that punishment on the cross was he was taking the punishment for your sin and for my sin. But it can only be accounted to you if through faith you believe in who he was, what he did, you submit to him as your Lord and you repent. And when you do that, you can have eternal habitation with Jesus and the rest of the saints for eternity in heaven. You might be saying to yourself, hey, I'm a good person. Surely God wouldn't send me to hell for all the nice things I've done for people. But the truth of the matter is the Bible says, by grace you've been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it's a gift of God, not of works, lest any man or woman should boast. There is no amount of good work you can do to earn your righteousness before God only faith and trust in what Jesus has done for you on the cross. Hey, let's get back to our video and I'll have a little more information on the eternal portion of this at the end of the video. One of the challenges when you want to cut is, you can see this one here, when it was cut, it was done with a circular saw and it cuts into the board next to it. So having a multi-tool is very helpful. This is your multi-tool right here and it's basically a vibrator saw that can actually saw a straight line right down into your board so you don't have to cut into the board on either side of it. Here's how the multi-tool would work in this application. There's going to be a tongue on one side of the board, so as you're cutting your line, you need to cut up into the one side that has the tongue. If the board you're trying to replace actually goes over two beams, then there's likely going to be a nail through the tongue right here on the middle beam. And what I usually do is I keep two blades on my multi-tool. One of them is a metal cutting blade and one of them is a wood cutting blade. And let's go ahead and see if we can just cut the nail off that would be right there on that seam with our metal blade. So cut about a quarter inch away from the tongue side going straight down because the nail going through here will actually be at an angle and probably about a quarter inch in is where it will come into contact with the structural member 
you know, underneath the deck. Once you've made both your cuts, the end and the nail cut, you want to take a piece of wood and go and screw it down, not on top of the underlying beam, but just to the outside edge of where you're going to try and slide this board out, and put a couple of good construction screws into it. Now you want to use that to take a hammer and see if you can tap this piece of wood out of here. Make sure you measure closely. For as you can see in this clip, not all tongue and groove is exactly the same size. Once you get the old one out, now you can just, you can just slide the new one right into place. Another situation that might come up is when you need to replace a board that is in the middle of the floor and you don't have the luxury of being able to slide it out off the end of the porch. In this case, what you'll have to do is you have to cut both boards side by side on both ends. And once you have them, and once you have your cuts in place on both ends, then put a screw into one of the boards and then use your hammer and the two boards will kind of sandwich and the two boards will kind of wedge out you know, like that, and you'll be able to get them out. Being that termites are always a challenge on historic homes, whenever you have your porch or floors open, it's always a good time to go ahead and mix up a little bit of termidor and just go ahead and shoot down any of your structural members. You know, it's kind of a good safeguard, you know, against any future termite issues. Hey, as far as the eternal portion I was talking about, if you're not sure you know who God is, I encourage you to just to pray like this. Say, Lord Jesus, if you are real and you are out there, I pray you would reveal yourself to me in a tangible way. And when you make that prayer, he's going to answer it, and you will know he is real. At the point you know he is real, and you're ready to accept him as your Lord and Savior, the gospel is so simple. All you have to do is just pray like this. Say, Lord Jesus, I recognize that you are the Son of God. You took the price for my personal sin on the cross. I surrender my will to your will as Lord of my life. I repent of my sin. Thank you for loving me, forgiving me, and accepting me into your eternal habitation. That's just how simple it is. But the catch is that just saying those words won't do anything for you, only unless the heart believes the words that you're speaking. For the Bible says in Romans 10, 9, if you confess with your mouth Jesus Christ is Lord, which I just did, and you believe in your heart God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Salvation only comes through faith and believing. Hey, if you get a chance, visit our website, eternalrepair.com, where we have a lot more information about your walk with Jesus Christ. That's eternalrepair.com. Thanks for watching.